Hello there, welcome back to my channel Mascara Magic. So today's video is a beauty box unboxing and it is the Look Fantastic box. So this is the Look Fantastic box for July 2020. Now this month I believe you could have got one of two different boxes. The long term subscribers are getting variation two which is what I've got and if you're a brand new subscriber you will get variation one. Now it's sods low, there's three products that I like in variation one and probably three products that I overall quite like in this variation two box. I wish I could have kind of picked and choosed and combined them together but like I say that's what you call sods low. <laughs> anyway never mind that's usually the case when it comes to beauty boxes you can't pick and choose what you get unless you get the latest in beauty box where you do pick and choose everything you get. Anyway, price wise, like I say, if you pay month per month and you don't want to be tied in, I believe it's £15 a month. But someone told me that you, they might be getting charged postage on top of that if you sign up for the month per month. But yeah, I'm really not too sure about that. So sorry, I can't give you any information on that. I'm not even too sure if this is a worldwide box. I've got a funny feeling it's UK only. But then again, it could be overseas in Europe. But I don't believe it's in the US, but I'm pretty sure it is in Europe actually, but not in the US. So yeah, just a little bit of information about the box for anyone who would like to know. Anyway, I'll crack on, show you the box and show you what I got. This month is actually a really, really pretty box. It's like a kind of orange, peachy, clementine colour, but it's quite shimmery and quite metallic, like a little bit glittery. It's really, really pretty. Now I know it's only a box, so at the end of the day, what do most people do with these boxes? Well, some people use them for storage, which is a really good thing. But if you're anything like me, you're a beauty box hoarder with like beauty box Jenga, which is clearly what I've got behind us, like I'm pointing out. I just don't know what to do with them. Even though I should be making good use of them, reusing them for storage and whatnot. Yeah, I just, I'm really disorganised. I need to be more organised. That was actually one of my New Year resolutions, to try and be more organised. Naturally, that went out the window because I'm still totally disorganised. It's just like, yeah, spaghetti junction inside my head. Anyway, right, inside the box, you get a little quote on the inside of the lid, which I think is really nice. Sometimes it's like an uplifting type quote. This month, it's just pretty kind of average. Glowing skin is always in. Now, with the Look Fantastic box, it always tends to be a little bit more skincare heavy. So if you don't really like skincare products, then this is probably not the best match box for you. But if you do like skincare products, then I'm sure you would absolutely love this box. So usually inside we get a leaflet telling us about the products, a little bit about the product, the price of the product, the size of the product, etc, etc. And some articles to read as well. But they've actually not done that at the moment and they are still currently just doing it in an email format, which they've done that for the last couple of months. And to be honest, I prefer the little booklet to refer to because I've noticed that I don't think I'm receiving the emails with any of the bump, any of the information, because I haven't got mine as yet, and I don't believe I got it last month. So I'm not really sure what happened to that, but anyway, never mind. So this card just basically explains that fact. So, really sorry I can't tell you the prices of anything, but at least I can show you the products, and that's the most important thing, right? At least I think it is. So, these are the products this month. There is one, two, three, four, five, six products. There usually is six products in. Some are full size, some are going to be deluxe minis, some are going to be travels, etc, etc. So yeah, I'll crack on and show you the products. I'm going to dive in with my favourite product first, which is a blusher brush by the brand So Eco. So Eco is cruelty free and vegan friendly, so that's like really, really good. This is, like I say, it's a blusher brush and it's a really nice quality brush and it's just it's really kind of really nicely designed it's got like the little carved cut out in the handle in the stem which actually helps give better control when you're holding it the brush itself is really soft and really quite dense as well it's really nice quality price wise i haven't got a scooby-doo how much this is worth 
I'm going to stab in the dark and say around £10, but I could be completely way off. But quality wise, like I say, really good to hold. It feels really nice on the face. Obviously, I've got no makeup on it, but I do have makeup on my face. And it's just really, really soft. Really nice brush to add to my collection. And I'm really happy that I got that. So that is the first product. The second product is a body cream. It's by Monu Spa. And it's a rose and lemon enriched body cream. And the size is 100 mils, which is a really good size. This would be classed as full size, I believe. For some reason, my camera takes ages to focus. I don't know what's going on with it. And then it goes really dark afterwards. So I'm so sorry about that. I must get my husband to look into it because I'm a complete technophobe. I haven't got a clue how to do anything on my camera other than press the record button. <laughs> anyway, so this body lotion, I got a bit of a shock when I opened it. I thought it was going to have a seal on, but there was no seal on it. So as soon as you've opened it, ladies, I would say 12 months to 18 months, try and get it used up. For some people, that's not too difficult. And for some people, that's a bit of a chore, like myself. I tend to put body creams in my drawer and then I forget about them, which is shameful. So I really need to keep them like on my bedside table or in the living room, just somewhere where I'm going to remember to actually use them. So this Monu Spa Body Lotion is really nice. It smells obviously like rose and like lemon mixed together. It smells a lot like Turkish Delight to me, like that's what it reminds me of. And I do like the smell of Turkish Delight and I bloody love the taste of it as well. But yeah, it's like a herbal Turkish Delight. Productivity wise, well, I've only tested it out on the back of my hand and that's what I'm going to do again. I only got this box a couple of hours ago and I had a quick sneak peek and then I went in the shower, got myself ready and did a few bits and bobs I needed to do around the house. And then I thought I would film it. So yeah, productivity wise, it's not too greasy it absorbs quite well um it smells lovely it's a really nice kind of fresh floral type smell really kind of spring summery type smell and i like it i do like that product so first two products there i really am quite happy with price wise I haven't got a clue how much that's worth i'm going to guess at about 15 pounds but again that is a pure stab in the dark guess the next product is by Madara, which is a skincare brand. It is a deep moisture regenerating night cream and the size is 25 mils. Now this has got a seal on, so if you don't mind, I'm not going to open it because I've currently got a night cream on the go and I've got another one or two waiting to use after that one, which one of them doesn't have a seal on. So yeah, anyway, this is what it looks like. It's a nice, smart, neat little tube. For some reason, my camera is just really not focusing, so I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, it's a nice little sort of travel size, I would say. It's not like a full size item, but there's definitely enough there to give it a good go for a couple of weeks to see if your skin actually likes it and adjusts to it quite well. Because sometimes, you know, when it comes to skincare, you can use a brand and it takes a good couple of weeks to kind of settle in and for your skin to get used to it and adapt, which yeah that is the truth it really is sometimes you can use something once and know that it's just not for you it just doesn't feel right other times you've got to give things a couple of weeks just to really see if it does suit your skin type anyway next product is by sleek makeup and it's a matte me liquid cream lip now i'm not a huge fan of matte liquid lips but i love the color of this i absolutely love it the color is called bittersweet and I'll be keeping it. <laughs> I was going to say I was going to put it in a giveaway. When I first saw it earlier on, I thought, oh no, it's a matte liquid lip. And I'm just not a huge fan of matte lip lipsticks, like I've said. I find them quite drying on the lips. But the sleek ones aren't too bad. As long as you use a lip balm underneath, maybe a little bit of lip gloss over the top or another cream lipstick of a similar colour, then they're really not too bad. So as soon as I got this this morning, I whipped it open, I tried it out on my lips without lip balm and without lip gloss, and it wasn't too drying. It was actually okay, it wasn't bad. And staying power wise, it was really quite good. I had a cup of tea and ate a little bit of food and it was still on my lips, pretty much most of it. 
colour wise like I say it's really quite pretty it is the type of shade that kind of I do like but I do like such a variation of shades when it comes to lipsticks but that is a really really pretty colour so yeah basically guys I decided to keep it but part of me originally thought oh I might put it in a giveaway but yeah I decided to keep it seeing as the next two products are going in my next giveaway so the next product is basically some vitamins for the hair skin and nails now these are really popular within beauty boxes and especially within look fantastic i think about two or three times over the last year i have had vitamins for like the hair usually but yeah anyway <laughs> so you get a 15 day supply there is 30 capsules inside this little tub inside this bottle it's all completely sealed haven't opened it and they are in date until next October. Now, vitamin wise, even if I really wanted to try these, I couldn't. Sadly, I'm on certain medications where certain kind of other, like kind of vitamin medications can interact. So I'm not allowed to take these type of thing. But that's okay, never mind. I'm pretty sure that when I put these in my giveaway, somebody else will really enjoy trying them out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, whoever wins my next giveaway, you'll enjoy these little multivitamins anyway so they're for the hair skin and nails now they are supposed to be quite good but like i say i can't give much of an opinion on it because i don't take them so the final product is a little sort of sample size product i was a little bit gutted it could have been a bit bigger but never mind this is by this works and it is a morning expert hyaluronic serum and it's 10 milliliters it's 2% hyaluronic acid and slow release vitamin C, which helps to plump and brighten morning skin. Now, I do love a hyaluronic acid and vitamin C serum. So I obviously could keep this for myself because this is my box, so I could keep it. But I've actually got quite a few serums at the moment. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to put this in my next giveaway box just to let somebody else try it out and see what they think. So yeah, that's going in my next giveaway. And that's pretty much everything in the box other than the shredded paper, which is red this month. And yeah, what did I think of it? Well, to be honest, Rockerbox has beat them by an absolute mile at the moment. They really have. But there's definitely one or two products that I do like within the box. However, like I said at the beginning, I wish that I could have kind of picked three products from Variation 1 and three products from this box and combined them together inside because I would have preferred that because there is one product, like I say, I can't use and one product I wasn't massively struck on and then this product I'm putting in my giveaway. So I would have preferred to pick my own items, but that's the whole point of a beauty box, guys. You get a mystery box and you never know what you're going to get. And you've just got to kind of accept whatever you get. So it's the air of mystery. Anyway, so value for money wise, it's not bad. In general, I do quite like the Look Fantastic box, but it really is skincare heavy. For all there's a lipstick in this box, it does tend to be skincare heavy. But some months have got a nice selection across the board. Um, I do recommend the box and somewhere I've got some kind of code for you to get 10 or 20% off your first box. But I haven't got a clue where it is. If I find it, I'll drop the link in the message bar below, in the description bar. If I don't find it, then there is so many codes out there that you could actually use. I'm not too bothered about gaining royalties or any kind of credits or money off. I just want to show you the products because it's one of my passions. It's one of my biggest passions is beauty products, skincare products, everything, lotions and potions. So, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video hopefully i haven't bored you to tears hopefully not and if nothing else it's something to watch when you're just unwinding at the end of the day and you just want to watch something and just kind of relax and chill out anyway i'm gonna go got a really really dry throat which is my cue to go and get a cup of tea anyway other than that i hope everyone's keeping well and staying safe and other than that, I will see you all again very soon for my makeup decluttering, which is going to be huge, absolutely huge. I'm also expecting to get my glossy box and my lemonade box at some point this week. So keep your eyes peeled for those unboxings too. Anyway, until then, 
take care and bye for now